Hi, it's me, Dr. Lee, and thank you for joining me. We're talking about the prophetic, and I'm calling this one self-described prophets. Self-described prophets. In discussing the prophetic, I would like to talk about self-described prophets. A self-described prophet comes in all shapes, forms, ages, colors, etc. They can be male or female, known or unknown, local, nationwide, or worldwide. The self-described prophet predicts or expects something and believes that this prediction or expectation will come true simply because the person believes or anticipates it will. And I must point out, some may not even believe what they say. They just hope that you do or that their audience does. Some of these self-described prophets, some believe that God will or may be supposed to back up what they have predicted. Others just don't care if God backs them up or not. As long as you, the people slash audience, back them up, that is all that matters. Fame, fortune, importance, looking good, looking the part, being deep to man, slash their followers is what is important. So it's many reasons why self-described prophets, they come up with, you know, their stuff that they become a prophet. And I know you probably heard me tell this story before if you watch some of my other videos, but I met a guy that was upset that he was became a, a preacher, a pastor. He said because the money was right. The money was um good at that time. And it was like so funny because I'm laughing and he was being serious, but I had never heard him just come out and just confess that and say that. And I know people do it, but just to have him say it, he said, well, no use lying about it, you know? And it was like interesting from what I could tell that he believed in God. He just, you know, I don't know, his, his thinking he was gonna make a little money at it and so the money was um looking good so he got into the preaching um the preaching field and that was kind of you know kind of hilarious but he wasn't in it then when i met him but with that know that these self-described prophets you can find a lot of them on the internet um like prophets like prophets not going wild it's like prophets running wild and uh, they have no accountability. Um, some have like no covering. They just, you know, woke up one day and and either felt like they were a prophet or they wanted to be a prophet or they saw that the money was good or wanted fame, fortune, whatever it is. I don't know. No, but they became a prophet in name. And a lot of them were just name in name only. They're a prophet and it's no manifestation of God, you know, saying no manifestation of God in what they say, especially, and, and you definitely don't see any kind of, you know, sin demonstration. So, with that, know that there is a lot of it, and it's like we 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 just start to see more and more. So we have to grow in discernment. We have to be able to look. So you know what? I don't have time for no foolishness. You know, I I don't have time for no foolishness. I want the things that God has for me and I don't have time for no foolishness that someone, I don't care who it is, speaking stuff that's not true, speaking stuff that's that's not coming from the Bible, speaking stuff in their own heart to be deep or important or, or to, you know, to make man like, no. I want to grow on this journey. I want God to manifest himself in my life like never before. And that's that's 
that's that's this whole point of this journey this whole part of this journey is to continue to grow so that we can grow closer to god he can use us and point other people to you know to his son jesus christ he sent his son to die for our sins and sometimes when you run across yourself to describe prophets you know and i'm you can go on they can you can go further and say evangelists or preachers or ministers or whatever just keep on going with it but we're talking about the prophetic or you could, I mean, you could just say someone that's supposed to believe they, they are self, a self described Christian, not really, you know, doing a whole lot to be a Christian. Just say, I am, I am a Christian and I believe in, you know, their, their, their fruits speak something totally different. All I'm saying is that there are many, 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 many prophets, self described prophets these days that are saying that God, you know, they're a prophet of God. And if you, listen to some of them you you know if you have some discernment you could say okay this is not a this is not a, a guy it's one thing that you can have somebody you may not like the way they sound or look or you know but you say you know what they said is true I miss mean, you know what i don't like um the way uh prophet strawberry or prophet you know cucumber or prophet tomatoes talking i don't like the way they sound i don't like the accent but the stuff they say is on point the stuff they say it's true. I can't deny that. I can't deny what they're saying is coming to pass. I can't deny what this person said to me, even though they look funny. Maybe they're the wrong, you know, height, the wrong, you know, whatever. They Maybe they weren't cute. No, maybe they were too cute or whatever it is that, you know, that we can come up with in our mind and our eyesight. You know how we, we do humans. We can get all distracted by the way somebody look or sound or however and miss the message or miss the point of it. So with that, that's you know that's fine someone don't like that you know you don't you know like some people may look at john the bad and say okay he's weird you know he you know he's this or that or elijah oh he's weird or oh maybe he's not that cute or, oh no that he's cute or whatever the people may have said or you know maybe he's strange or maybe he's unique or maybe he's young or he's old or whatever it is maybe you know you know that he was just something whatever's wrong whatever it is that we could come up with but what's important is that what this prophet is saying is it from God is the message from God you know you do you discern anything else from this this person that this person is doing it for any other reason so you have to ask the Holy Spirit to to grow yeah to grow help the Holy Spirit to help you grow let me say that help you grow so you can when you come across some of them because there's so many of them now that you know how to deal with information that they give you or or put out or you know or that they're praying. So, mm -mm. I, I ran to a, a girl the other day. She had me rolling and laughing. She was like, mm -mm. I don't need nobody praying for me. She said, people be praying against you. All the people praying and put you on social media. And she said, I didn't let my family know I was sick. And then she said, I don't want any people praying for um, me. She said, I know who I want to pray for me. Don't even put me up there. I'm, I'm sick and that's people praying, praying for you to, to do something to check out of here. You know, it was kind of funny what she was saying. But she was being, um, she was being um, truthful. But she had me laughing because how she was saying and i felt her she was like mm -mm, no 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 so with that you don't want all these people speaking things you know saying to your life and you receiving them let me say that they can speak it all they want but then you receive it because they said that they're a prophet and what they said did not come from god it came from some other whatever you don't want that you don't receive anything that's not coming from the lord Also, I have written down here, the self-described prophet. And because they say God, Jesus, Holy Spirit, speak in tongues, pray, etc. Amidst all their predictions with the name of Jesus, it does not mean they are a mouth, mouthpiece of God. So some people you hear, oh, they, they're speaking. And I have seen some, you know, some, some strange stuff. Stuff. I've seen, you know, people using all kinds of things to say that God is speaking through, you know. You know, when I shake my, you know, I'm just making up something now. But if I shake my head, I say here, you know, that means that, you know what I'm saying, that's God speaking. I twist my arms, I twist my head, or I just right here my face that, you know, God is using my facial expression. And all kinds of stuff that people, people um do that you'll find out here today that you need to be like, okay, uh-uh. Let me let me let me try this spirit. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. My, the Holy Spirit living inside me. Mm -mm. Reject, reject. 
So with that, I want to um, read Matthew 7, verse 21, 23. And this is from the NIV. And it's just basically saying that when you hear people mixing up saying God and Jesus and oh, most high. And they get all deep and they got the shakes and the, the rolls and this and that. And, the, and not, not, you know, people do all kinds of stuff to make it like sound believable. And, you know, just... I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes you just get worn out seeing this stuff. But sometimes it's like, okay, really? It's going to be kind of funny. Like this person actually believe in, believe in this. They believe in this. So they already deceive themselves. Or they, you know? So it's like. But Matthew 7, 21, 23. Basically, I'm just going back to um to stress and emphasize that. Because they say God or Jesus, Holy Spirit, pray, speak in tongue. And shake and rattle and roll and whatever they do. It does not mean they, they were sent from God. That's basically all I'm saying. And it says here, Now everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, we enter the kingdom of heaven. But only he who does the will of my Father, who is in heaven. Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name? And in your name drive out demons and perform many miracles. Then I would tell them plainly, I never knew you. Away from me, you evildoers. So, just remember. Because they say God, that has nothing to do with it being from God. You know, it's just like if you see a pretty person or a handsome person. Because they're pretty on the outside. I don't mean they're pretty on the inside. They could have just those ugly spirit, you know, just, just ill spirit. So with that, it's the same because a person is their prophet and their mouthpiece of God, and you know they got whatever the shakes, the, the rattle, the rolls, or the looks, or God uses whatever they say God uses to speak to um to them all the time, or whatever time that God speak to them in the closet, or they can make God conjure whenever they want to, and you know at this time and they get deep at this time and God whenever they call him, he come and he give them a message every time in the night at the same time, you know. Continue to read your word and to grow so that the Holy Spirit can grow in you and you will let him be in more control of your life and your thoughts. The, you know, saying your understanding and your ears and like the things that you see. And people may not, they may not understand how do you know this? How do you see this? How do you, how could you pick this person out? You know, you saw this for anybody else saw this. You know, like, oh, the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. Because I'm studying my word, I'm reading my word and I'm applying it. I'm being obedient. So, with that, just know there's a lot of self-described prophets out here. So, I'm going to pray. Father, I come to you. Stand on Matthew 7, verse 21, 23. In your word, it says, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only he who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. Many would say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name? And in your name draw like demons and perform many miracles? Then I would tell them plainly, I never knew you. Away from me, you evildoers. Father, may I continue to grow in the things of you, in your word. May you manifest yourself like you never done before. Father, I just thank you for what you've already done. I thank you for what you're doing. I thank you for what you're about to do, Father. And I'm just your vessel. And whatever you need or help me to do, Father, I am willing. May your Holy Spirit help me to grow and be the vessel you need me to be. Father, thank you for everything. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So with that, so just know that with um this, be on the lookout for self-described prophets because it's a lot of them out there. So if you came across this video and you do not have a relationship with Jesus Christ, all you have to do is repent of your sins and accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And if you have a relationship, all you have to do is continue to grow, 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 grow. Be the brightest light you can be. Read your Bible, walk in obedience, and pray, pray, pray. Talk to God as much as you can and be on the lookout for all the self described prophets that's out there don't fall for anything that's not of god let the holy spirit guide you and direct you again read your bible walk in obedience and pray 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 i'm dr lee thank you for watching let go let god and keep it moving take care